Rumors abound about Kuomintang presidential candidate Hong Shil Tzu. Some say the party may ask her to be its vice presidential candidate instead. But People First Party presidential candidate James Song said this is unlikely, as the KMT has said. Her China policy deviates from the party line. He says having her run on the ticket would only lead to the KMT's major defeat. People First Party presidential candidate James Song attended a lecture on the environment organized by the Taiwan Youth Climate Coalition and the Environmental Quality Protection Foundation on October 9th. Media reports are saying that the Kuomintang intends to ask Kong Shouju to travel around Taiwan to campaign for the party after replacing her as his presidential candidate. It may also ask her to run for vice president alongside Eric Drew. In response, Song stated that the KMT has already portrayed Hong as a sinner for deviating from mainstream public opinion, and therefore it doesn't seem likely that it will ask for her assistance. He added that doing so will only hasten the KMT's defeat in next year's general election. Song also used the opportunity to criticize the current administration for its failure to penalize corporations for destroying the environment. He said that if he is elected, he will step up efforts to show how environmental protection and industry can coexist. During this public appearance, Song also attacked the government for the delays in the Suhua Highway Improvement Project, saying it let down the people of Hualien. He asked the KMT to stop deceiving the people. According to the latest opinion polls, the combined support rating of Eric Drew and James Song is still less than that of Tsai Ing-wen. Song responded that his support is stable and growing.